Hello Aquarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. Let's see what we have for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you for the weekend, Angel Spirits Guides. So we have family, number two, people, something to do with family here. Let's see what we have with that. I'm using the Morgan Greer. As always, take what resonates, won't be for everyone. So let's see what we have for our lovely Aquarians for the weekend. And these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released. We have the Seven of Cups coming out quite a bit this weekend. We have, this can be hopes, dreams, wishes. Four of Swords. Queen of Swords. And we have the Two of Wands. So, with regard to family, we have the Seven of Cups. A choice needs to be made, a decision, but you're confused. This is the process that you're going through in the next few days, if this resonates for you. This is, you have options. You're looking at alter, you know, alternative pathways as well. So there's decisions and choices potentially to make here, Aquarius. With the Four of Swords, taking that step back to get your head around a situation, and that would be the advice too. The Four of Swords can be when we just need that breathing space. We need that space from away from a specific situation to just get our head clear in terms of how we're going to move forward. With the Queen of Swords, somebody who is clear now, where there wasn't clarity, this is clarity coming your way. This can be Aquarian energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, male or female. This queen holds the sword, the sword of truth, the sword of clarity. This is what I'm going to do. This is my decision. This is how I'm going to move forward. So it feels like you're getting clarity in terms of the direction that you're going to go in. The two of wands, you're at a gateway. There's a choice to make or a decision and there are two paths. This can be about staying or going or, or going this way or that way. It's about choices about your future. It feels like you're getting clarity. There's a decision that's needed and you've taken that step back because there was a period where you were confused here. You weren't sure what to do and especially when emotions are involved, we can get the Seven of Cups quite frequently because family is involved. But again, the Queen of Swords energy, okay, this is the this is me getting a clear mind now in terms of the steps that I'm taking and the choices that we're going to take. I mean, this really could be I mean, it could well be whether you cut cords with somebody here in terms of, it can be love romance, it can be in terms of family. For others of you, it could well be something's prompted a, a choice or a decision to make in terms of what you do next with regard to a family member. That could be a health area, that could be, you know, um, could be any life area really. It looks like you're going to get clarity or you, you might be suggesting you know, what, what the next steps are to take, if that's the case. So let's clarify family. Clarify family for Aquarius, thank you. We have the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. I mean, this is two people. It could be, it could, I mean, this could be a love romance. You could, you know, it could well be, do I go with this person or do I go with that person? What's the right thing for my family? Again, you could be in a current relationship where there could be somebody else as well. I mean, however that would resonate for you. But these energies can also be very good in terms of business, career and finance. The King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. This can be leaders in business who hold opportunity as well here, Aquarius. So this feels like there's the energy here of, your, the decision that you're making is going to be the right one for you, your family relationship here. That feels like there's some kind of, there will be something that you really want that's connected to your passion, your desire. Uh, it's exciting. But then there's also going to be an opportunity potentially that's sensible. 
I mean, I feel that there it feels like there's two paths. There is really is there really is two paths. Whatever those two paths are for you, the two of ones can be do I stay or go? It do it can be if there's two opportunities or two people, it's about making decisions and choices in terms of, of what's right for your future. Either way it looks it looks like you're getting clarity in terms of which way to go. But part of that process might well be you you need to you're also putting what's best for family first is what I'm getting. I mean, it could also be that you want to move back near family, you know, and it might well be that there's two opportunities available to you and you're choosing which is the right one for you. That might be the energy here. I mean, you can't, it's really variations on the same message, isn't it? So whatever's right for you. Okay, Aquarius, what do we have for you as a final message? Final message for Aquarius, thank you. Yeah, we have success. Field mouse, believe in yourself and dare to dream big. Yeah, it feels like there's definitely an energy here of success. It just feels like there's two, definitely two pathways. We have snake, kundalini rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality, welcome the transformation. Yeah, That's the message I have for you, Aquarius. So however that resonates for you, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next time.